Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I just wanted to show y'all quickly what I've been working on. Everybody else is already doing Christmas, I know, but I'm still into the fall because it's still November and I, I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year. I wanted to sh show you this beautiful journal cover that I'm working on. I thought it turned out really pretty. I did a lot of different things on there and put it on this envelope, one of those that you do up with the staining and Mod Podge and stuff. So I'm actually gonna put this envelope on the back side of it back here. And that's kind of where I um, wanted to show y'all these really pretty tea bags that I did up. This is actually a napkin that um, was gifted to me either by my mom or by Sue. I'm not for sure where I got it from, but it's so realistic. So I had these tea bags that I've been saving and I finally used some of them and did some decoupaging with that napkin. So um, I wanted to just do a quick share on that. I know a lot of you have might already know how to do this, but some of us don't. Um, I've been collecting my tea bags, uh, Michelle White. There's been a bunch of tutorials on that, and I've been saving my tea bags to use. And um, I'm going to take a couple of these out. And what I usually do on the back side of them, if I can find some scissors, is I just kind of cut. Pull this in a little bit. I just kind of cut the back of it. You can use a, a little knife or. Um, scissors, whichever um, you prefer to use, and just make a slit, which of course I can't do it right now. It's not working. I usually make a little slit and pour out the, the tea, and that all covers up. You don't, you know, even if you do it all the way through, don't worry about it. And then I pour it out and then, you know, I decoupaged over this and you really can't even tell it so where you have done that. So, um, you know, you want to do it on the back side of it. This one here is done and you can't even tell it. Um, anyway, so that's what you do. And like I said, you can use a little knife and slit right there. I think that's how I did these. I can't even remember. And you can iron these down too. They usually work pretty good if you iron them. So what I'm gonna do is show you these cute little napkins. And I got out some Christmas ones because everybody seems to be in Christmas, but I also like this one here that I got from Tuesday morning. And um, what you normally do when you get a napkin and you wanna use it for decoupaging, you need to get the layers off of there. So just take some um, tape and put it on the back side and just pull it like that and it will actually get the layers off. And then there's sometimes there's two layers on there, sometimes there's not. And then you can do it again. And that one I tore, but some these napkins are really thin, so you have to be careful. But I've got plenty of these, so Believe me. And this one, I think it has another backing on it too. There you go, that one's a lot easier. And then I just take and like what I'm gonna decide to use, which let's go with this one first. I just take what I want to put on something, whether it's an envelope or whatever you're going to do, then you just take and kind of go around it. And you can use anything to do this with. You don't have to use this particular little um, thing that it. you can put water in it. So it's just whatever you have available. You could take a... Um, a paintbrush and go around something and do the same effect just using some water but it's really a, a really neat way to embellish your your items and just do something different with them so see how that's going to be pretty on there 
So what I do is I take and use, you can use Mod Podge, or I use this Collage Podge, which you used to get this at Tuesday morning, I mean not Tuesday morning, but um, Hobby Lobby. But now, they don't carry it anymore. They, I guess it's not as popular as it used to be. Uh, so I had to order it from uh, Amazon. And that side I don't want to use. You try to use the, the side that's not slit. But that Michelle White, that's her name on um, YouTube, she has a lot of tutorials on different ways to use tea bags. And oh my goodness, I was just like amazed at how many ways that this woman could use tea bags. She even made journals out of them, little journals. But I just thought I would do this and just kind of give y'all a quick little idea of things that I do. And I enjoy doing this. I think it's a fun little project to do. You could even take and put like some glitter on here, some glitter glue or some, any kind of glitter that you might have to kind of give it a little sparkle. And uh, then you let it dry, but isn't that pretty? And these just, you know, once you do this and kind of get it um, on here, it dries up so well that, you know, it gets stiff. And, you know, you could either use it as a, a pocket or somewhere in your journal and just, you know, as a little piece of ephemera. I just think it's so pretty. So let's do up another one. These actually, these tea bags are Tetley tea bags. And I really like these Tetley tea bags because you can get them in the big circles, you can get them in the little circles. See here, they come in circles like this or little baby circles. And I order them from Amazon. I used to get them at Walmart, but they quit carrying them. So, um, let's see. Let's put little Santa Claus on one of them. So, again, just go around him with some water or whatever you're doing. And tear it out. You can also take and stamp on these before you you actually put your stuff on there and that's cute too to do that like if you want to stamp some script on there just to kind of give it a little bit more definition you know a little something different and this actually had another layer on there they're usually three layers but let's see if i can find my stamps where did i do with them there they are let me get my black ink. Oh my gosh, if y'all could just see what a mess my craft room is right now. It's just, when I start crafting, it is wild. So let's just take and just put, do some stamping on here. Any kind of stamping will do. You could do some Christmas stamping, would be really pretty if you wanted to do that. Just stamp on it, you know. I just take and kind of stamp around on stuff. I've got where I just love to do this. I do this on everything now. And then just take your your um, tea bag and put. I usually take um, Mod Podge or whatever I'm using, and I add some water to it because you know that kind of makes it. A little bit more uh, where it it does better I think I mean I think that it makes it not as thick so just put a you know add a little water to your Mod Podge when you're working with it and then just place your thing down on there that and just I mean it's like being an artist and you're not actually having to paint the picture <laughs> But I love doing stuff like this. Isn't that cute? So just another way you can use uh, your tea bags or use something that you already have. You, you know, most of us have the, the napkins that we're using 
on the holidays. So you could actually, you know, it wouldn't take much to do something like this. And just try it. It may not work, work turn out the first time, but after you do it a few times, it's gonna really turn out. And like I said, then you could put some glitter on it if you wanted to. But anyway, there you go. I'll let those dry and I will show them to y'all whenever they're dry. I put pictures at the end of my video. Y'all have a blessed day and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I sure appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you.